Happy New Year, Food Foresters! I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, New Year's season, happy holidays, everything. So today's video, I am actually going to do it inside the house. Uh, it's a little gloomy outside and we got another front coming that's supposed to be bringing another cold wave. Um, so that's going to be the Arctic blast that we have. But it's going to be a little chilly. It's supposed to get down into the upper 30s in our area. Uh, I think it's Saturday. So what I've done is, excuse the noise in background, I got the dishwasher going. But I decided to bring out my seed haul. And I know, as a lot of you do, come the after the holidays, the first thing that goes on in your head is, hmm, what am I going to plant this year? Where am I going to plant it? When am I going to start it? Well, I know here in Florida, our growing season is a lot longer than most. Hello, Halloween. Yes, got Halloween-y. Uh, Halloween? Yeah. What are you going to do? Uh-huh. Are you interrupting me? Yeah. So, um, you know, I automatically start thinking, what am I going to do this year that's going to be different than last year? Um, I think what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be adding more tires, stacking them higher. Um, a lot of the tires that we have out in different areas, we're no longer utilizing. They were, I shouldn't say utilizing, but we don't need them to build up the soil anymore. So we're probably going to move them and bring them into the garden area. Um, that way we can stack them too high, get them filled and whatnot. See, here's halloween -y. Yeah. Yes. Donald brought her home for me um, out of a customer's garage when she was just six weeks old, six or no, I think eight weeks old. And because uh, I've always wanted a black cat. I I think they're just cool. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, gee, my baby. Yeah, my Halloweeny. So I named her Halloween because she's a black cat. <laughs> she's also my little buddy, so. But... Um, we're making some changes there right now because our intention was to move the greenhouse the framing to the south side of our property because when we first built it we didn't realize at the time uh, that we built it on the north side so it gets interesting during the winter um, but we want to move that. I don't know if we're going to be able to in time. Um, so right now, just for the season, the swing set garden has turned into the ugly greenhouse. <laughs> it is just so messed up. But, you know, we try to do things that people would normally do. You know, when you're homesteading or gardening, you're going to do what you need to do to make things work. Um, Donald loves experimenting. He loves science and all that. And so for him, gardening, he's able to try different experiments all over the place. And it's actually been really successful. Really, we've been able to see how things work around here. Um, now, back to planting your garden. One thing I'll stress is look up your zones, where you're at, find out when your last frost date is, and then from there, if you want to start early, um, go six weeks from the, from the frost date, count backwards six weeks. I would not recommend starting anything sooner because you might run into the problem where there might be 
an unexpected last freeze that comes by, uh, or you might have to start up potting because it's not ready to plant outside yet. So to avoid a lot of that hassle, that's my recommendation. Um, here in Florida, obviously, come the end of February, we're only cold part of December, January, and February. We might be, we might every now and then get a frost in March, but normally March 1st, we can pretty much plant outside. Um, this year, I really took some time off as you saw, we haven't been putting out the videos as much. And I, one was because I made some homemade Christmas gifts. I loom um, a couple of scarves. I make jewelry pieces. I make gem trees. Um, I make little uh, charms and stuff. Mainly I do it for my family and friends. Um, but we've been talking about, since we have this nursery license, um, really starting that business up in 2023. Uh, we think we have figured out what's needed, what people would be interested in, that we could sell quick. Uh, now, unfortunately, we cannot sell out of state of Florida. The license is not nationwide. It's a local license. Um, it cannot ship. It would have to be a an appointment that you would make and pick up. So we've been talking about starting a website where um, not only would we advertise some plants, I could then sell my little things and soaps and little herbal things. Um, something else I started getting into was herbal medicine. Um, as you know, when you start homesteading, you kind of it kind of falls in line with this. So this year, I really want a meniscal, meni, I want a medical, I cannot say that word, medicinal. I think I said it right. Can't say it. <laughs> but I have been making certain salves that have been really working well with me and Donald and other people in our family have tested it out. Um, I've made a pain salve, so that way it, it's, you know, you can rub it on your hands, your knees, you, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a salve um, to help with inflammation. So that way you're not constantly taking pills all the time. Um, am I replacing a doctor? No. This is something that... I'm doing to try to boost our immune system, boost our healthiness. But if we have to go to a doctor, we will go to a doctor. That what I'm doing is not trying to cut out that Western medicine. You still need that. Um, unfortunately, there are diseases and stuff out there in the world that a lot of things that you grow would not be able to take care of or, or help you get better sooner. But these are little things that I've been doing. You know, we've been taking turmeric in our food. Turmeric is really good for information. Um, doing more, more uh, ginger, help with stomach issues, helps digest the food better. Um, I made my first uh, elderberry syrup for this coming up season. And, it, and uh, that much, after I got done making it, was a pint? Is it a pint? Four? It was about a half a gallon. A half a gallon. Of, and I'm like, I made it shelf stable. It is made with vodka, 80, 80 proof. Um, and honey, um, so it's shelf stable. And I'm actually now working on um, making stuff with hemp in it. I started to purchase hemp 
and I am going to try to make like some CBD oil or some lotions with CBD in it um, that has you know come about and I've been doing a lot of research on that so it's something that um, I definitely want to try and see if it can help you sleep better obviously there's benefits in that um, it can also help with inflammation it can just be um, also a stress reliever and it's something I'm not talking about like just taking it internally I'm talking about using it in with like soaps using it in with lotions um, salves um, lip balms you know it, it's something that would also benefit my family um, am I looking to make uh, this stuff and sell it I don't know that part yet I'm still in the beginning stages of creating this side business for me Donald's side business other than barbecuing <laughs> and cooking is going to be the nursery um, he loves his plants he loves talking to customers about plants he will go to customers houses and they you know they'll have plants they'll give him plant he comes home with plants <laughs> or he'll come home with seeds and I'm like where did you get this what is that outside <laughs> and he just goes oh I had a customer and they had all of this and this growing in their yard and this and this and I think it's wonderful he loves that so what I'm going to show you today is there, it's going to be a, a kind of like a two-part video. Um, I went nuts with MI Gardener um, a couple. Uh, this was earlier before Christmas. Uh, I think actually before Thanksgiving. He had a 50% off sale. And I went nuts. Now, when I did purchase these seeds, I kept in mind our zone. I looked for plants that were heat tolerant, drought tolerant. Um, they can handle um, even some that can handle like the flooding that we have in our area. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what I have laid out over here because I have it laid out in categories. It's so much. So I'm going to uh, fan them out and show you guys everything that I got from my gardener. Okay, so here's the first set. Provider beans. I'm going to try beets again. Unfortunately, I have not been able to grow beets at all. I love pickled beets, so I'm going to try again with the beets. Pumpkins. I got two different types of pumpkins. And then our chocolate baby bells. We really like these. Um, I'm going to try some feathered kale. We're going to grow some different types of carrots, rainbow Swiss chard, and then I have onions and regular white stem bok choy. The mixed salad bowl again, the, uh, the red lettuce, the tango leaf, the freckle romaine, and the bronze guard. Hello, Cement. Hey, what are you doing? My daughter's cat. Cement. Thank you. <laughs> um, we are going to go with the Veriflay spinach and the giant noble spinach. We've had good luck growing these. I got some more cucumbers we're going to try. And then we really love the butternut squash. Um, unfortunately, with these, we have to be careful of the boring worms. That's our biggest problem, too, is the boring worms. All right, next set. Cement. Come on. Move your butt. Come on. I know. Cement. Come on. You, yeah, I know. What are you doing? All right, here's our eggplant collection. We're going to try different types. We do really like the eggplant um we got the long purple the black beauty the rosetta 
Um, this one's the Rosa Blanque Ashford, and then the Casper. And then over here we have some more radishes. Uh, we're going to try the Black Spanish, the Purple Plum, and the German Giant. Poor Cooper's all tired out. <laughs> okay, now, my tomatoes. I, you all know, I love tomatoes. I just have a really hard time growing them here. So, we are going to go with the Arkansas Traveler, Cherokee Purple, the Hillbilly, Large Red Cherry, uh, Delicious, uh, Costa, I can't say that one, Genevis, um, the Pargan Sprayless, Striped Roma, and the Marion, Moneymaker, Rio Grande, uh, Marigold, the Tigerla, Ruger's, Amish Pace, and then the Florida Dade and the regular Roma. Here is my herb garden. Um, we're going to do a dark opal basil and the dwarf Greek. And I believe, oh, I believe I have this one already. That's the one I grew. Um, my friend um, gave me a, um, a small tree of this, and it grew great. I already have regular mint, but I want to try growing spearmint. Dill. I do have dill growing, but it's not. It, it's supposed to be a mammoth dill, and it's coming up as little tiny dwarfs. So I don't know what happened. And lemon balm. I am growing lemon balm right now, but I want to grow more. And then my flowers. As you know, every garden needs the bees. we got to bring in the bees. So I got a meadow mix and a... Alaska Daisy, um, I thought I'd give this a try. We got chamomile and the cone, the purple cone flower. Got my sunflowers, I love sunflowers, and I'm going to try to do milkweed again so we can uh, bring in the butterflies. And last but not least, here is Donald's peppers that he's going to grow this year. Early jalapeno, habanero Caribbean red, Habanero lemon, um, pastel boho, habanero Caribbean orange, uh, chinlet or chimpin, uh, boca juca, large red cherry, uh, uh, Nimix Joe Boxer. We got the mushroom red. The Santa Fe Grande, um, Cayenne Long Slim, and the Hungarian Hot Wax. And yet, if you all know Donald, he loves his peppers. Alright guys, so that's it for the MI Gardener seed haul that I did. All of those, like I said, um, I got on clearance sale where they were a dollar a pack. So I went a little nuts. And also too, a lot of things that and my gardener didn't have because they were sold out a lot of stuff. I hopped over to Baker Creek and I found out um, a uh, somebody gave me a code to where I got a discount at Baker Creek. And so I used that code and I got a seed haul from them. And I went a little crazy on that site too. <laughs> so part two of my seed haul is going to be the next video. And that's going to be all the um, seeds I got from Baker Creek. So we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.